Hey, good morning. You know, as I share these with you, they come out of the one-year Bible. They're out of the daily Bible readings. I encourage you to read along with me. Um, but today, as I was reading in the New Testament out of the one-year Bible, came across this passage from Luke chapter 2, verses 36 through 38. It says, Anna, a prophet, was also there in the temple. She was the daughter of Phanuel from the tribe of Asher, and she was very old. Her husband died when they had been married only seven years. Then she lived as a widow to the age of 84. She never left the temple, but stayed there day and night, worshiping God with fasting and prayer. She came along just as Simeon was talking with Mary and Joseph, and she began praising God. She talked about the child to everyone who had been waiting expectantly for God to rescue Jerusalem. Now, Matthew and Luke are the two Gospels that contain the birth accounts of Jesus. Each is a little different, adding unique pieces to the story. There are Magi and the flight to Egypt and Herod killing the innocent children in the Gospel of Matthew. Luke contains the shepherds and Zechariah, Elizabeth, and John the Baptist. Also included in Luke's Gospel are the accounts of two individuals that received less attention, but they were still part of Jesus' birth narrative. Um, they were present during Jesus' early infancy. Simeon, who we read about yesterday, and Anna. And I've highlighted the verses about Anna today. Now, she was an 84-year-old widow who had only been married for seven years. If she had married around age 15, as was the custom then, she would have been a widow for 62 years. You know, there are three prominent things about Anna that these verses tell us. First, she was a prophet. She proclaimed the message of God. She never left the temple, worshiped and prayed day and night. She immediately recognized Jesus for who he was. You know, reading about Anna made me think about the many other Annas that I have encountered through my years in ministry. Faithful women who lost a spouse always seemed to be at church and could recognize the work of God at a glance. None have actually been named Anna that I can recall, but they've all ministered like this special lady. They've been very precious to me, each one. And I thank God for each of them, for all the Annas that I have had the privilege of knowing and working with. Pray with me. Lord, thank you for those who give of themselves again and again, ministering to the needs of others and ministering for you. Lord, I have met many who, like Anna, have lost a loved one and ended up pouring themselves into your work and your ministry through the local church. I thank you for the Anna in the Bible who recognized your work at the birth of Christ. And I thank you for the many other Annas that I have encountered through the years who continue to do your work and recognize Christ in all that is around us. In Jesus' name, amen. God bless you, friends, especially all, all of you Annas out there. God bless you. I appreciate you. I love you. See you tomorrow.